In his most recent video, Matt Pat, current host of the game, film, food, and style theorist channels, and very prominent FNAF theorist, announced that he's going to be hosting his last theory video on March 9th. While I've made a couple comments about it on Twitter and in the YouTube comments of his announcement video, I couldn't really fit everything I wanted to say there. So, even though the algorithm may not be a fan of me breaking from my usual content style, I feel like this is an important video for me to make. Not necessarily because of the role he's played in the FNAF community, though his absence will absolutely be felt there, but because of just how much of a role he's played in my own life. I think I was about 11 when I first heard about game theory. My cousins were fans, and because I played Mario Galaxy with them whenever we visited, they showed me all the Mario theories he had out at the time. Middle school ID thought it was the coolest thing ever how someone could take these fictional things and just try to make some real world sense out of them. So when I got my own email address, one of the first things I did was make a YouTube account and subscribe to Game Theory. Throughout my middle and high school years, Game Theory remained a major part of my life. MatPat was basically my childhood hero. He introduced me to how genetics worked before I even touched it in school. I watched pretty much every theory video that came out, except ironically the FNAF ones. I taught myself to speed eat dinner specifically so I could watch DT live while it was live, and I even brainstormed with one of my friends ideas for a Game Theory parody channel, with one of the highlights of that being that Barney the Dinosaur was a ditto because they were both purple. But while that didn't end up being the direction I took my channel, it doesn't change just how big of a role Matt played in getting me to where I am today, able to make the videos I do in the first place. I know I've mentioned it a couple times, but I wasn't even a FNAF fan up until Security Breach. When the games first came out, I was a bit put off by the whole dead kid stuffed in animatronics thing and the fact that the game was jump scare horror. I didn't really give it much of a chance until I decided to watch Matt Pat's reaction to the final trailer for Security Breach. Seeing through that video that FNAF wasn't just jump scares with scraps of story locked behind chance events and hard to get situations, though don't get me wrong there is definitely some of that, is what got me to look forward to Matt Pat's playthroughs of it on GT Live and led to me being a fan of the franchise. And it didn't stop there. At the time, I had mostly just planned for this to be an animation channel, but when MatPat released his first theory video post-security breach, that changed. I was so enthralled by the details he noticed and the ideas he came up with that I was excitedly talking to people about it for hours. But as much as I loved the theories he came up with, there were a few things I disagreed with, such as Vanny and Vanessa being the same person. I wanted some way to share my ideas, and then I realized that there was a way for me to do that. With that idea in mind, I started to study the lore and people's theories more in depth and brainstorm ideas for videos I could use to establish myself as a FNAF theorist. When Matt had announced that he was making a video involving Patient 46, one of the topics I wanted to talk about, and said that he would be hosting a stream with other FNAF theorists that viewers recommended, I saw that as the perfect opportunity and motivation for me to try and accomplish two of my life goals, becoming a YouTuber and at some point being able to actually talk to Matt Pat. While the second goal wasn't accomplished with the video that came from that, it was the one that initially launched my career as a FNAF theorist. It took a while for me to put out another video that did anywhere near as well, which ironically enough was one that had MatPat in the thumbnail, but if not for the circumstances of MatPat making the videos and announcements lining up with the way they did, I honestly probably wouldn't have ever found the motivation to actually finish a theory video, much less keep it going as long as I have. Without that, I don't think this channel would have found a way off the ground, at least not as soon as it did. Fast forward about a year and finding out that goal number two of talking to MatPat actually had a chance of being accomplished was one of the coolest days of my life. Let me tell you, checking my YouTube notifications to see that THE Matthew Patrick was doing a GT Live reaction to a video I had made felt insane. This was the YouTuber I had been looking up to since middle school, and he was giving thought to and sharing my ideas. Throw in the fact that I was actually invited onto the next theorist panel he was hosting after he finished releasing his ultimate FNAF timeline, which he also mentioned me in, which was awesome, and I was ecstatic. Sure, in the lead up to the panel, I was so nervous that I would look like an idiot in front of an audience of millions of people that I was shaking for like a full 24 hours in advance, but being able to do that was a dream come true for me, and an amazing experience I would gladly do again. Because of it, I've been able to make friends that I'm not sure if I would have been able to before, and my own channel was put more into public view as well. After that, I was actually able to pick up and maintain momentum with my videos, something I'd struggled a lot with up to that point. So when his video came out announcing that he'd be saying goodbye, it was understandable, but it hurt. Matt may joke about ruining childhoods, but honestly, he helps make mine. And I know it's not just me he's had an impact on, but so many other people who have had their lives touched by him and his content. While I have no doubt that the theorist channels are going to keep putting out great content, and I absolutely respect Matt for wanting to spend quality time with his family and doing other projects, knowing that in the future there are going to be people growing up with the channels and only know Matt Pat as the guy who did the old content feels like a loss. So Matt, if you happen to be watching this, I want to say thank you. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you and your work, and I want you to know that I'm so, so incredibly grateful for everything you have done for me and for everyone else who's watched your content. I wish you and your family the absolute best, and I know that whatever you end up doing after this is going to be amazing. But hey, that's just a theory. A heartfelt theory. Thanks for watching.